Hi there, this is Shot and Totten. This is a game by Rana Knizia. It's a two-player game by Yellow, and its phrasing is kill or be kilt. So it's a Scottish-themed game, and it's a sort of battle line style um, game whereby you're trying to place out cards, and you're trying to be the first person to either claim five of these stones or claiming three if they're next to each other. So now I'm just going to lay out what you'll be doing. And the aim of the game is basically all around the fact that you are these um, Scottish tribal clans and you are pelting the opponent over this sort of stone wall and you're trying to benefit. So let me just make sure we've got all of these pieces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another couple in here somewhere. And it takes around... 15, 20 minutes to play. You can choose how many rounds you wish to play. And uh, I tend to just play a single round and then if you win, then you play it again. So there's some cards in here which you won't need. And that's because um, this is a tactical variant, which we won't be talking about at present. And the way it works is you're trying to get the best set on your side. So you're choosing to play certain cards. You have a player aid each if you wish. And the aim of the game is to try and win these stones. So if you have a hand of cards, you're going to start off with six cards each, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to have six cards. We don't know what they are. That's going to be a pile over to the side. Let's leave them there. And let's just leave this just in shot. So we're going to have this stack of cards here. We're going to look through these and try and get the best thing possible that allows us to basically beat the opponent. So what we could try and do is get a colour run. So if I can play three cards, such as, well, I haven't got anything useful here, but say a seven blue, eight blue, and nine blue around here, then as long as um, I place it before they do and they complete, then I will win this set. So imagine I place that down. I'll drop a card. Then they'll play a card. Let's say they place the six here. Um, I go again, and this time I can instead think, well, I might not be able to get a three of a kind, or they, maybe they'll place there, maybe they're trying to get a colour on first, and thinking, well, I don't have the right cards, maybe they've got a seven, a green seven, and a green eight. I'm going to place this down instead. Now they know I can no longer get the best thing possible, which is the colour run, but instead what I could get is maybe three of a kind. So now they know I'm you know, two thirds of the way there to completing this and claiming this. So there are six different colors. So now I drop again, that's handy, perfect card to get. It's their turn, what do they have? They have a five. So something else they could do is go for a run. So a run is, is the fourth one down, is try to actually get three different cards, um, which are sequential, so six, five, and four. But this time round, um, they're going to be different colours. In between that, you could have actually gone for colours. So maybe three greens here. You could have gone for you know, three yellows here. Or we could go for a sum. So sum is the weakest one. And it's just three random cards over you want, and it's just the values. That's worth 11 compared to whatever I get. So now it's my turn. I'm going to go here and complete this. So now I don't take this because they could get, well, they can't get another three eights. It's possible because there are six of everything. Having said that, I was the first to try and complete it based on this type, so I win the tie. But if they could still win it, if they happen to go for seven, eight, nine of the same color, we know that they can't because they've now changed color. So I definitely win that. And now I have one of the five stones to win the game. That's if I win all these five scattered stones. If I win three in a row, then I take control and I win that way instead. To, that's quite handy to go in the center. Now I'm focusing either side, I drop a card. Now it's their turn. Now they know they don't have to waste any more cards down there. So they're gonna play maybe a four here. Now I could go up against them with that four, but of course they went first if I go all the fours. I think I try and go for this color run. So let's go for a seven. They think, oh, maybe he's got the sevens. And then I'll be drawing up. Of course they're drawing up each turn as well. They're gonna take a six. They think, well, let's go somewhere different. Of course, they could be trying to get all the fours or something else or run, and I've got the three, so they can't be going for that run. So already I know stuff, and they'll know stuff that you know I can't do and can do. They knew that if they had three eights, then I'd have to 
hopefully get the right kind of card out here too. So now it's my turn again, and I'm going to see if I can maybe take him on here. Let's go for... Now I think we still want to try and get this run. I can't do 7, 8, 9 because the 8 is there. Let's go for a 9 and draw that up. So they've got another card. So they've only got... So they haven't been drawing up. They, this time, just try and get an easy win. I don't know. They're going to go here now because they haven't got all the different cards. Um... Then I'm going to play another 9, so the only way they could beat that is a 7, then an 8 with a purple, or a 5 and a 4. Huh, I've got the 5 and I've got the 4, so they've got to go higher. I haven't got that 9, it's their turn. They're playing a 4, they're going to try and go for that set. So now I need to get some 7s in play. We 1s out already, I've got 1, there's 4 more left. I'm going to choose to go maybe that 5, and the f so of course... It's actually has different shading, actually. I'm going to go for this five. I don't want to reveal to them that I've got the four. And uh, that's how the game continues. So, again, the game ends when you've got three, if they're next to each other, or five in total. What can happen is you will end up trying to maybe focus on a few. Maybe you'll scatter out. It's very interesting. It's a game that um, I play frequently back-to-back. -back. And, again, just playing in, you know, these single round games and then deciding, you know, who wins it and then playing against. So, basically, best of... Uh, best of three uh, nice pieces and um, yeah nice small box from um, from Yo here and yeah play rays are very handy so that is Shot and Totten and it's uh, that's a quite small fun game my rating is kind of like a six and a half I feel that as tactical it is and as interesting it is to try and get those sets um, and whilst I lost the first game and then won the second game it doesn't hold my appeal uh, greatly but at the same time you know occasionally I don't mind giving this a go so it fits quite neatly in here it's practically still a deck of cards apart from those stones as well and let me just see if that fits any better no nah, makes no difference so there's Shot and Totten I'm now going to do a weighing so if you like this video please hit the like button uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and you'll see some videos um, for anyone else and it's 222 and finally, if there's any comments, anything I've uh, missed off or you're keen to hear more about, please um, chuck them in the YouTube comment box. So thank you very much for watching. That's Shod and Totten, and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.